How you all doing? As uh, she rightly stated, uh, my name is Joel Chacha, and I'm a general manager at uh, Talent Public Relation, which is uh, one of the leading PR firms in East Africa. And we've been in this market uh, for, I think, 21 years now, handling a number of clients, blue chip clients, local clients, you name it. So what we do is we help companies build that intangible asset base. We position you into editorial space, which is more believable. So how, how I look at it is uh, with PR, we make other people talk on your behalf, other than advertising where you're talking on your... Um, so what we do, yeah. as well as ensure there's a drum bit of news for our clients. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is uh, we'll agree with you that you know nowadays you need to be on all platforms. We have an investment model that guides us 70, 20, 10. Mm -hmm. So we'll push 70%, so we'll ensure we write opinion pieces on your behalf. Okay. If you see a lot of these opinion pieces written by CEOs, that's what we do for them. We write opinion pieces, we write their posts on LinkedIn, then which have been reshared. You're like, wow, this CEO knows a lot. Mm. But that's, that's what we do, because majority of us are ex-journalists, like I was at Standard Group. Yeah. I've seen a number of people who started businesses and they're getting a lot of coverage across all platforms. And you're more likely to believe that this is a genuine business than advertising. You know, a lot of people say, Kizuri Kajusa, Kibaya Chichichembeza. So an editorial, when, when you see a story on the news, then you're more likely to believe it than if you saw them advertise. Mm. Yeah. So what we do when a client comes on board, we look at your scope of work and that's how much, that's how we bill you. Oh, okay, okay. So then we can custom make it to you. You know, we, we ask you what, what you really want okay. and we'll also advise you and sometimes you know as you're starting off you may not afford a PR firm okay. so then uh, we can advise you to at least get you know that in Kenya there's a lot of talent as uh, I think a lot of people are talking here there's, there's some people who are engaging local talent universities there's a lot of talent here even in a lot of agencies here across Kenya what they do is they hire a lot of their interns are from you know the universities here so that's how you start building people out so if you can't afford that PR firm, it's always good. I mean, this is a trick a lot of people do. You can go to universities, give, you know, give a talk. Then you can see a potential. You know, have, you know, shortlist them into five or ten. See what they can do for you. If someone has potential, then you can take them up. As and interns? Then, hmm? as, yeah, interns. as interns. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's just one of the trick, <laughs> tricks you can use okay. in the industry. But if you want professional work, then you have to onboard um, a PR firm. Now, I've been in the industry for a while, and I think a lot of people get it wrong. Some clients would come to you when they've already foreseen there's a potential crisis happening next week, and it's 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 it, I mean it's a no-brainer. You can never, even you can never because I've worked for Ogilvy, I've worked for big PR firms. You can never fix a leaking roof on a rainy day. So even though you went to uh, and the best agents in the world and uh, they didn't know. How to, they didn't know the problems you had before you onboarded them, yeah. then it would be hard for them to help you out. So it's always good, and that, this is what we always do for most of our clients. When we onboard you, we always have an um, issue mapping session where we diagnose vulnerabilities so then we know what's going to happen. Then after you diagnose vulnerabilities, then you're sure, you're sure this might possibly happen. What you need to do is now, you need to identify your ambassadors, your allies, and your adversaries. Because you need to, when you're in, during a crisis, you need your ambassadors to talk on your behalf. Because at that time, whatever you post, everyone is going to, you know, count it. People are very forgiving. So <laughs> if you know you're, you're wrong and you've been busted, it's always good to come out. You tell, the rule is always tell the truth, tell it fast, then tell it all. Then no one has anything. Tell the truth, tell it fast, then tell, tell it, it all. all. Yeah, just say everything. I say, ah, yeah, I just posted that. I thought, you know, just tell, because now no one, no one else will start picking it up. But, but more hate is, is going to come. Yeah, but it's best to just tell the truth, tell it fast, tell it all, then it's over. And that's what um, I think even you've seen, you know, Obama, before he went into the office, what he did is he wrote a book and came out how he used to smoke weed. And he told it. So that's how he did it, very discreet. So no one was, after he, after he was sworn in as president, no one would come out and say, this, this was a crackhead, or this is what he used to do. So sometimes you get a client in a totally different uh, industry. Yeah then you have to sit down and also understand them. Because you, you, know, you just don't want to take them and you know, just pretend that you know what this is.
and business is about. So you need to align your PR objectives with their business objectives, where they want to be, and you try and help them out. Because you know, for a very long time, people used to measure PR using uh, advertising value equivalency, but nowadays it has changed. We want to look at the impact. You know, we want to tell stories from the people you're impacting. You know, uh, the recruiters here or the people. How many students have gone to the states? Are they back? Where are they working? So that's a more impactful story. If I could look for her students who she's taken abroad and they've come back, they're doing well, and they went through her, then she's more likely to get more calls if someone read about her story in the newspaper than her advertising. <laughs> Platforms like uh, Facebook are very helpful nowadays. If you start up a Facebook page, it always, uh, you've, you easily geo-target the kind of clients you want on your, so you just don't, you just don't boost uh, an advert just to target everyone. You know, I might get it, but I'm not interested in going abroad. Mm -hmm. Then it looks like one of those clickbaits. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very, it's very disturbing. So some, a number of the clients we handle, like um, we handle uh, Coca-Cola Beverages Africa. And if you look on, if you go onto their page, we don't boost any of our adverts. So our, the page has, has grown organically. 